I want to show you something guys. This our pregnancy test. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Madeline. So if you are new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So in today's video is I'm going to share with you one of the very special moments of our lives. So I want to show you something guys. So Maybe you think I'm crazy, but this is it. This is the reality. This are pregnancy tests. So, not only this, but also this. So if you are wondering why I have a lot of pregnancy tests, it's because um, we have been TTC for um, five months with a doctor and then just to ourselves without the doctor is almost two years. Just a quick... Um, background last 2016 i was diagnosed with pcos so i want to make a separate video about the pcos my infertility story my ttc journey and how we treat it and how i get pregnant so yes you heard me right right now i am pregnant so right now i am 12 weeks pregnant so this is a special kind of pregnancy test for me I am here in Denmark so we don't have this kind of test so I have to buy it in the Amazon. If you are in the TTC journey and TTC means trying to conceive, you are already familiar with this test. These pregnancy tests are much expensive than the normal one because this one will detect 6 days earlier before you miss your period. So if you are on the TTC journey, I know most of the women and on their TTC journey, especially me. So during our two weeks wait, if you are if you are confused what is the two weeks wait because you are not on the TTC journey, you can um, drop your questions below and I can answer it on my next video. So during our two weeks wait, you you basically you just have to wait until you get your period and you miss your period. Then that's the time you take the pregnancy test but because sometimes i cannot wait so i have to take a pregnancy test 9 dpo because that's the earliest stage dpo means days past ovulation because that's the earliest stage that you can um see a line if you are pregnant most of it are in the 12 dpo yeah i took it when i was 9 dpo and then i just used this very cheap one from the brown baby plant and then i can see that there is a very very faint line because in the pregnancy test guys even the faintest line is considered you are pregnant so i can see that there is a very very faint line here so i need to confirm it and then i use this i use the first response so the br so this brand is the first response so here i can clearly see that there's already a second line i hope I hope you can see. Ha! Not. Well, maybe not. You cannot see it in the camera. Here, I can clearly see it. So, the moment that I find out that there is a second line, I call directly my doctor because it is very important that you will call directly your doctor or the one who's treating you because they will schedule you an appointment and check because you, they are monitoring you and your baby so i called the doctor's office and said that i am um, i took a pregnancy test and it's positive and then she said okay then she put a request to my medical record to that i need to go to the hospital to take the blood test so um they will take some blood in you and then they will test it and then they can positively uh, give you the result if you are pregnant or not because sometimes this one will also give you a false result So you think that oh, it's two lines. So it's positive. Sometimes this is also can give you a false result Hi guys, good morning. So I'm on my way to the hospital for my blood test today So to see if my HCG level has increased the last time I went there was um, Thursday so now it's first Monday now I'm checking to see how many weeks am I now. So it says pregnant in what week? One to two weeks. This is my first. I was hoping actually to have 
twins because I I have been on this medicine called um, Clomid so that is you will get a very high a chance to get twins on this medicine but I only get one so I have this one when I was uh, six weeks and two days so the doctor said that okay fine it looks okay and we are and then she said that we cannot uh, consider yet that you are already safe that you will really get through with this pregnancy because it's too early to say it so my doctor said that we will just have to wait so i asked my doctor when do you think the safe time that um you can say that there's a high chance that i can get through to this pregnancy and then she said when you reach um eight weeks yeah if you, when you reach eight weeks then you will have uh 97 chance that you will have this pregnancy so on my eight weeks she scheduled me again at a ultrasound so i went to the office and then there's her babies growing i'm already eight weeks and two days with this one so this is my last ultrasound to my infertility office so the next ultrasound will be to the hospital yeah that's it guys if you are wondering why it's been a while since i'm not active on youtube on facebook it's because i have been i am going through with this pregnancy symptoms all the pregnancy symptoms i have i know there's a lot of women out there that who are, who wants to be pregnant who who are in tdc journey you know if you are just in that group you know guys if you are only in that group on the TT people who are in the picos and wants to get pregnant you can hear their stories their depressions they have been ttc for 12 years eight years and it's hard that's why sometimes it's you have to think before you ask someone oh when can you have a baby oh why is it you don't have a baby yet it's because everyone is facing different problems everyone has its own plans so we don't know what they're going through so right now i cannot show you a baby bump because there's no baby bump yet i'm only 12 weeks if you have questions guys i will make a second part of this video talking about my picos and the fertility and all the medicines and what stuff i use so guys i will also insert a short clip for my line progression just a very short explanation for the people out there who are not in the ttc world um, why we are doing this one it's because it is very important to us to see that the lines are getting darker every day so these are my pregnancy tests that i used to check for my line progressions so because it is important that we can see the lines is getting darker every day so as you can see here in my 11 tpo um you can already see that the line is already darker than the 9 dpo that i showed you before so hi guys so today i'm going to show you my progression line so i hope you can see something this is a 99 dpo it's the first time i found out to see the very fake line. and then it's my 10 dpo then my 11 dpo and then 12 13 the, you can see the line is getting darker so so if you have questions guys just comment down below and i will be happy to answer it if i know the answers so don't forget to like and subscribe see you on my next vlog bye everyone